Mr. Speaker, I rise today to pay tribute to one of baseball's greatest and St. Louis heroes of all time, Stan Musial. Stan the man was an unblemished icon, both on and off the field. Musial's historic numbers over his 22 seasons with the St. Louis Cardinals make him one of the greatest, greatest to ever play the game. With 3,630 hits, 475 home runs, 1,951 RBIs, and a lifetime 331 batting average, he was one of the most consistent hitters of his era. Musial's performance on the field earned him 24 All-Star appearances, three National League MVP awards, seven National League batting titles, and a rightful place in the Hall of Fame, and three World Series championships for Cardinals Nation. Stan the Man was immortalized in the hearts of Cardinals fans when his number six was retired and his statue was erected outside Bush Stadium with a fitting quote from baseball commissioner Ford Frick. And I quote, here stands baseball's perfect warrior. Here stands baseball's perfect knight. But Stan Musial was more than just an example of baseball excellence. He epitomized modest Midwestern values and a devout faith, rarely found in today's age of fame and record contracts. When fellow baseball great Ty Cobb compared Musial to other greats and said he was better than Joe DiMaggio, Musial humbly replied, Cobb is baseball's greatest. I don't want to contradict him, but I can't say that I was ever as good as Joe DiMaggio. Stan Musial lived his faith through his life as a devout Catholic, his charitable work, and his devotion to his family. With, with nearly 72 years of marriage and four children, for his lifetime of work and service, Stan Musial earned the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011, as Lacey so aptly uh, identified. It is fitting that we name the I-70 Bridge the Stan Musial Veterans Memorial Bridge to remember his service to our nation, as well as that of countless other veterans in the St. Louis area and Cardinals Nation. Like so many other young men and women of his generation, Stan Musial put aside his career when he was drafted into the United States Navy during World War II. With the passing of Stan Musial, we lost a beacon of our community and our team. But this legislation is a fitting tribute to a player who will always be remembered in the heart of Cardinals fans as the man. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back my time. The gentleman yields.